a quick recap of what we were doing yesterday. We said that uh, if the properties of the system of the linear system are varying periodically with time, then uh, you can characterize its impulse response h t comma tau also happens to satisfy the uh, periodicity condition um, as shown here and basically it states that well the network I mean uh, loosely speaking uh, looks exactly the same whether you, you look at it now or you look at it uh, a time uh, t s later. Hmm? And uh, as a consequence uh, recall that uh, if you excite the linear system with uh, a complex exponential the output is this time varying gain times the same complex exponential. And since the properties of the uh, system are varying pre periodically, it follows that this h of j 2 pi f t which is basically the gain experienced by the input sinusoid also varies periodically with time with uh, you know period T s which is uh, 1 over F s. Hmm? So, this is basically written as h of j 2 pi f T plus T s correct which then allows it to be expanded in a Fourier series uh, and therefore, as we saw yesterday h of j 2 pi f comma T is uh, sum over k of h sub k of j 2 pi f times e to the j 2 pi k times f s times and uh, the uh, we also saw that this h sub k f must be the same as h star of minus k minus j 2 pi hmm? and how would we find the uh, uh, the h sub k? Well, it is simply the usual equation that we know uh, to find the Fourier series coefficients as simply integral 0 to T s h of j 2 pi f comma t exponential minus j 2 pi Fs times e d t, right? Uh, and a linear time invariant system is a special case uh, of a linear periodically time varying system where all the h k other than k equal to zero all become equal to zero. Hmm? Fine. So uh, therefore, when you excite an LPTB system with a complex exponential like this, the output is a signal which is h sub k j 2 pi f e to the j 2 pi f plus k f s times t, right. In other words, a uh, this is the input and this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, frequency, uh, frequency and this is the output. So, if the input consists of a tone at f, then the output consists of tones at f, f plus f s, f uh, plus 2 f s, uh, f minus f s 
f minus 2 f s and so on right. And uh, what comment can we make about uh, if, if, if the amplitude of that tone is 1, what comment can you make about uh, the amplitude of uh, or the strength of uh, the output at f? It is h0 of j2 pi, correct? Right. Likewise, what comment can you make about uh, uh, the strength of that tone? H minus 2 of j2 pi. So, you get the idea, right. So, this H sub k of j2 pi f quantifies the gain from an input at f to an output at f plus k times f s which basically is a uh, which is f shifted by a harmonic of the uh, uh, the frequency with which the system is varying right so this is like a transfer function except that it is not uh, it is not the same right it uh, in our, our traditional sense of a, of the transfer function when we talk about a time invariant system is that the transfer function uh, quantifies the gain from an input at a frequency f to an output also at the same frequency now the output is at a frequency which is shifted from the input frequency by a harmonic of the uh, of the uh, frequency with which the system is varying and therefore uh, these uh, this is called the harmonic transfer function right and h sub k basically uh, stands for the kth order harmonic transfer function. Hmm? So, for example, uh, h uh, minus 3 of uh, 2 f s basically means uh, uh, what is the input frequency? What is the input frequency? Input is at 2 f s and output two f s minus three f s which is minus f s okay so uh, it's just a matter of getting used to this notation hmm. is that clear the next thing uh, in a, uh, as we were talking about uh, uh, during the close of yesterday's class, in a linear system, if you look at the output and if you find a tone at f, it follows that the input must also contain a tone at f, right. Now, uh, if you look at the output of an LPTV system, and we notice a tone at f, what does it mean for the input? Yeah, so, basically you know there is uh, uh, there is a little bit of confusion because well there could be uh, an input at f or there could be an input at this output at, at uh, frequency f could have come from any input need not necessarily be at f can be a result of uh, 
tones at inputs that are given by what? F plus K. So, basically here uh, I mean this output here could be a consequence of this multiplied by H0 of J2 pi F or this what would this uh, uh, this gain be? H minus 2 of J 2 pi F plus 2 F S. This frequency remember what what you get what you put here is the frequency of the input tone right and this is the amount by uh, the number of F S the number of F S S by which the um, the input tone is moved when it goes to the output, right. So, if you simply look at an output, the output of an LPTV system and see a tone f, all that it means is that there could be an input tone at any one of these infinite frequencies, uh, uh, which are of the form f plus some integer uh, multiple of f s. Does it make sense, right. So, uh, for example, let us take the simplest possible one. So, let us say this is cos 2 pi f s times t and the input is uh, uh, let us say we see uh, an output which is uh, cos 2 pi f times t right. What is the uh, what are the possible inputs? No, look at it carefully. I mean, the system is very well known. What are the uh, what are the harmonic transfer functions of this uh, of of this guy? Well, if this is the input is x of t, the output is x of t times a by two times e to the j two pi f s times t plus e to the minus j two pi f s times t. Correct. So, what comment can we make about H0? Yes, 0. Okay. Well, what is H1 of J2 pi F? For H1 of J2 pi F, you put in a tone at F and look at the output at F plus f s ok and so uh, uh, what comment can you make about uh, uh, h 1 of j 2 pi f therefore? a by 2 and likewise h minus 1 of j 2 pi f is also a by 2 and h sub k of j 2 pi f for k not equal to 1, uh, not equal to plus or minus 1 I guess, must all be, must all be 0, right. So, now what comment can you make? If you see an output at uh, a frequency f, the input can only be, yeah, best basically either uh, uh, 2 by a times uh, no, whatever you do the math right. So, the the uh, either either f plus minus hmm? does it make sense right and uh, this is uh, uh, of practical importance in uh, for example, a system like a radio because it means that uh, I mean in uh, you ideally let us say you want to, uh, uh, to uh, demodulate a certain channel right. Because of the multiplication you have multiple inputs that can demodulate or fold to the same output frequency correct. For example, here you see that the output 
uh, you know at f basically means the input could have been at f plus f s or f minus f s and uh, you know without doing anything additionally it is uh, it is not possible to figure out whether the input is at just by looking at the output it is not possible to figure out whether the input came from f plus f s or f minus f s. <coughs>